it's the Python website. We need to get Python, so... Wait. Oh, Jesus, no! Hey guys, this is a generic person here, and I'm back with another video. Don't mind the Windows Vista stuff. Yes, it's it. Did you just freeze? Oh, heck no. Yeah, so... We're gonna be installing Python, but there's actually more I want to do, and you can tell this is a bit slow. So, alright, so let's get Python. I need a 32 bit binary. So, yeah, uh, this, okay, so we're gonna have to download Python and other development tools. I'm gonna get MinGW. Oh, this. You see, I'm not really gonna show a lot of stuff since uh, this does contain information I'm not gonna show. So, yeah. Um, what? So we're gonna need uh, the executable installer. It's 32 bit. Unfortunately, this computer is trapped in the land of the 32 bit world. Actually, not really. Instead, it's just running 32 bit Windows Vista. And... It's right there. It's actually an Athlon 64x2 CPU that's installed in there, and it's 64 bit. I ran 64-bit Linux on here one time, and, you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start this up, and I expect something, and, yes, I can't do OBS on here, because one, I bet you what, OBS doesn't even support Vista anymore, second, this computer is not powerful enough. It, it don't have the specs, so... I thought this would work on Windows Vista. What? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, jeez, no. Oh, heck no. Oh. We can close out Firefox. I need to get the Explorer. Also... Oh. Yes, I actually do have the System Properties dialog box open. In case we need to do some path work, but now I know how to get to that. Who is that, though? Who is that? Okay, so I need to open up the Explorer. Or I can just double-click on computer. Oh, jeez, this was performing just fine earlier. Oh, why, why am I clicking properties? Oh, there goes the mouse. Alright, so I can't really, sh again, I really can't show you anything because this does contain information I'm not willing to show. So, that's the thing. Uh, y yeah, uh, maybe not, yeah, let, let, hold on, let me take care of stuff real quick. Alright, so I, I guess Python didn't actually download. Yeah, I changed the thing, and this is an example. Yeah, so this is an example. You get the idea. It's more responsive. That's good. Even though it says Windows Vista capable, which is funny. When we need the executable, let's save this file. Uh, yes, this is. What the? Let me go. Okay, then I need to search for the file. Uh, find this on my phone. No auto. You're gonna trigger me. Alright, so. Oh, pff, I, I just somehow didn't see it. We already got it in one of those. Alright, so we're gonna launch Python. Probably need to run this as admin, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Firefox is good. 
Jeez, this is more responsive. I was thinking of doing classic, but... Yeah. You know what? Let's move this to the desktop. I don't know, I'm a bit iffy. Alright, so... Alright, so... You know, some other files that I actually put there and created myself. Don't get too excited for this. First of all. It's just a bad file. <laughs> yeah, don't think I'm like a super genius at that, because I ain't. Even though I'm able to make lines. So, I thought we could run this on Vizzo. What the heck? I need Python, uh, the task manager. Let's take a closer look. Alright, so... Um, it doesn't look like it. It don't look like it for some reason. M maybe they lied. Maybe Python doesn't work on Vista. Well, dang it. If it ain't gonna launch, then well, screw it. Also, you know, oh, not Frostwire, dang it. Yeah. I'm not just updated the BitTorrent client. Now I don't trust it anymore. Oh, gee. Oh, Firefox is good. Yeah, I don't trust Frostwire anymore ever since... Uh, okay, the site's still there. The site is still there. The problem is... They they dropped support some time ago. And if this is still being updated... It's blocked some... You know what? Just keep blocking it. I'm just gonna kill the process. Screw it. And the parts of tree, cause why not? All right, so that's killed. There we go. And if you're wondering who that baby is, try to guess. If I'm speaking to you right now, and if that's basically me, oh wait, I just gave the answer. That is me actually. All right, so nice PS2 keyboard, still works. We need minimalist GNU environment for Windows. Jeez, this computer is performing a lot better with error turned off. I wonder, well, they did have a defamation, defamation, not defamation, but a lawsuit about these stickers back in the day on how it only just meant the basic system requirements. Not these, but like, I guess, the um, design for Windows XP, Windows Vista capable ones. I had one on my... On my very, very old laptop running Windows XP. I basically messed that up and now I think I can fix it. So, I'm going to download this. I bet you what, this should hopefully work. Let's try it. So, let's save it. And here we go. Jeez, why is this like performing better with error turn off? Oh wait, because the error, the error theme actually probably takes up more resources. And GW gets set up. Oh, and this works. That's good. Either way, this is what I need. So also, just for me or oh. Yeah, we need to run this as admin. Although, I'll just install it only for me, though. And so, install. So, continues. Continue. We can view the license. Cancel. So, if we can set. If we can set this up, that'll be good. Alright, so I'll be right back.
Alright, so I'm back. Um, that took a bit of um, some time. So I, if I actually decide to use Side Rune instead, and hopefully we can get stuff working on Windows. So, here we go. Um, because yeah, of the issue we were having earlier. So, yep. Yeah, this is an um, example here. Provided it would even load. Yeah. So, yep. So now we just also looking at other stuff. So, yeah, this will take a while. So, yep, I'll be back once this is finished. Alright, after, okay, so, side win. Okay, we gotta, I gotta show you guys some results. So, first of all, I need to get an explore window up here. Oh, jeez, come on, computer. Let's see. Alright, so, um, we got this, we got an executable, it's just a simple hello world, hello world program, but I guess this is what I thought it would do. In other words, I, I thought it would just run without having sidewind one dot dll but you need to run it through the terminal and, yeah, what do you expect? What do you expect? So, I decided to just go ahead and use code code blocks, and if this thing doesn't work, in other words, if it doesn't compile, I just compiled and installed lines right here. So, you want to challenge me? You can go ahead. <laughs> All right, but in other words, I don't want. I in other words, that means I don't want to understand what's going on because this is. is Okay. Okay, this is, this is a beta version. This is the latest right now. Maybe not the latest beta, but suddenly, yeah, beta, and I chose to install it or update it on my system. So, ugh. so, yeah, so we got proof that this does work and compile. You know what? Let me show you. In fact, let's actually. I'm actually gonna show y'all something. In fact, am I contributing on MD? Oh, it's probably actually already in the downloaded zip file. Maybe not, because I thought I had a contributing on MD file. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, well, there were, in a contributing on MD file, that should be in here anyway. Um, beta should be in there. Some commits behind, but they will commit above. Aha! Contributed. In fact, in this contributing on MD file, the code must compile. May, not necessarily with without errors, but it at least must be in a compiling state to get... It must be, it must work to the point when, when you compile the code, you get an executable. And it, and, yeah. So, that's my standard. It at least must compile. Devel, on the other hand, doesn't need it. So, oh, and yeah, that's right. Based on how Windows works, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, alright, so we're gonna, no, I don't need to replace anything, I just want to compile this. Yes, this is the stable version, in which 2.1, I should also just release that today or some sort, I don't know, but we're gonna build, alright, no target in project, compilers, oh, the compiler's unknown, compiler, 
Uh, follow this first of all. Um, that don't work. I guess I don't know. Actually, not screw it. Defines global compiler settings. Yeah, the thing is, we don't have any other compiler except just. You have changed some settings. Do you want these? Uh, we should have GCC installed. I mean, shouldn't it? Yeah, custom variables. Um, other settings, build options. Yeah, that should be as I compile it. We can try to like, I don't know, ngw. I I found the line lines wiki, the code blocks wiki. Um, and I need to get to there because I thought it said something. So wiki. This TDM GCC You know, I think we just probably get this Cause what I'm looking for is I wanna compile some um sorta of like GCC on Windows but as if it was compiled with MSVC, that's what I'm looking for. Also get up a command prompt in the meantime. Let's go to. I'll get an explore window actually. You know what? Screw it. Can I tap? Oh, that's CD. Oh, hold on. Alright, so the explore windows up, you're not seeing it because it contains files. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it contains files that, yes, uh, I'm not deciding to show. Alright, so. Well, in the meantime, we'll try to just build this again. Build. The compiler is unknown. Nothing to be done, all items are up to date. Can I just clear the log? Build, build and one, cancel, um, one, is he, would you like to build it, I guess, I, yes, 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 except the compiler is unknown, so, um, oh, it's finished downloading, so, let's just do some quick actions. Oh jeez, yeah, it's not really focused on the computer screen. I mean, you know. Command prompt, I don't know, but. Code box downloads. Here we go, TDM GCC. Um, then we just bring up the command plug. CD desktop. Um, TDM. It's one from the command prompt in case if it's actually. Well, it, oh. 
Um, in that case, I'll just cancel and the command prompt can go to sleep. So let's run this as admin, allow. We want, okay, so let's follow this page here. Alright, so we gotta create 32 bit. Also, um, if this was 64 bit, I would have created both. We wanna create, we want, well, we can only do a 32 bit, really, I guess, because this is 32 bit Windows. Hi, sorry for the interruption. The WinP Threads Library can be compiled into every binary file. It's, ne it's a necessary evil that's currently required in order to provide yada yada yada. Requires you to reproduce in its text in every copy. Seems more executable. You must include a copy of that license. This is why it's important you gotta read this stuff. Well, based on that little license thing, and the video just stopped for no known reason. Um, so, I may not actually distribute this Windows binary, unless I further review license, which is uh, the... What? At the copy.winpthreads.txt thing. Since it's statically linked and the way static libraries work is that part of the code, I guess, it gets linked to... Yeah. It pretty much becomes a part of the application. Um, I'll also read it. Hey, cool banner. So we need to go to the compiler settings. Uh, settings compiler. Global. Alright, so what does this thing say? Under the two chain executables tab, dot dot da, two chain executables, yeah. Okay, it says it's auto detected. Okay. What you want to? Oh well. Oh, you gotta click this one. Let's install it. Um, Hold on a sec. Uh, I'm. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, uh, okay. No. Alright, so where would it be more specifically? Oh, so it's. Uh, so it's um, not there, but not even in program files. Alright, so, then the program files, alright, so, I did that, let's see, subtitle, so then we just need that for programs, alright, so, So I'm guessing the C compiler. C. Uh, I'm I'm guessing it's GCC.exe, G plus plus.exe. Linker for dynamic libraries. Um, that's LD. I mean that's on static libraries. I'm guessing that is two LD. You can correct me in the comments. Um, oh, I guess I can choose the invalid debugger. Should I do that? I really don't use a debugger though. And the make program, I'm guessing, is also is also a copy of make. No. Well, I'll leave that then. Okay. So you probably cleared the build. Oh, well, there's no 